live from Peabody Place in downtown Memphis. This is News Channel 3, live at 9. Well, she's worked for MTV, MGM, Warner Brothers, and the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences. Angela Marie is no stranger to the Hollywood scene, but she knows it, tough, it can be extremely tough to get your foot through the door. Networking is the key. I mean, that's why I founded Breaking in Hollywood. Um, Breaking in Hollywood is a nonprofit organization that assists aspiring professionals in their entertainment industry to break into the industry with um, integrity. So you don't have to, you know, you know, lose your morals to, you know, get ahead. So I remember the weekend, that weekend, I was just kind of like, okay, so, you know, where am I going? I remember I talked to my mom and I had prayed about it and just trying to figure out, you know, where, where my career is going. And um, I remember <laughs> my, my husband had come home that weekend. He was like going to see his sisters graduating or something. And um, I was like, oh, guess what? I started a business. And he's like, you started a business? And I was like, yeah, it's a nonprofit. And he's like, a nonprofit? What? He's like, you need to be making money. You know, you've been on for two years. You don't need to be starting a nonprofit. And, um, and I, I said, yeah, I came up with, I started an organization called Breaking Into Hollywood. Um, and it was, my mom was really instrumental in helping me to start that organization because she, she had asked me, you know, well, what are you doing to give back in your, you know, what are you doing to give back? And I thought, well, I'm doing a lot to give back. I mentor people in my church, young girls. Um, I do a lot of things in the community to give back. Um, and she said, well, what are you doing in the area that you want to be successful in? What are you doing to give back in that arena, in the entertainment business? You would be wise to look into an organization known as Breaking Into Hollywood. Breaking In Hollywood, it's a 501c3 nonprofit organization that I founded in May of 2005. Um, and the whole purpose, you know, our mission is to help aspiring artists in the entertainment industry pursue their careers with creativity, enthusiasm, and integrity. It's really because there wasn't an organization like it. You know, a lot of times there's organizations where it's like just screenwriting, just producing, just music. And I really hadn't saw, I really hadn't seen an organization where, you know, everything is in one. And so that's with Breaking In Hollywood, we put in events not just for actors or writers, but for fashion designers, photographers. And talking about what opportunities are available, because so many people think about in front of the camera and being the right. next big actor or actress, but there are a lot of opportunities behind the camera. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the power is in producing, because, you know, the producer is the boss. The producer is the person that gets the actors, they get the financing, um, they, they select the director, the producer is, is the person, you know what I mean? They are the man or the woman, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. So definitely there's a lot of opportunities behind the camera. Mm -hmm. Angela Ann Hutchinson. Yay. As an actor, you are the CEO of your company and you are hiring me as your representation, as your um, you know, agent to run a department sort of of your company. So um, relationship wise, I think it's important that you need to know the direction in which you're going to go as a talent. So you know, whether you're more interested in doing film or TV or those things are really important for me because you're the CEO. So just, you know, when, when the CEO has me, they sit down with their team, their key players, and explain to them, you know, this is what we're gonna do, this is our goal. And so that's sort of how I look at it. I really believe that I work for you, not the other way around. I know sometimes in Hollywood it sort of flipped because you're striving to get representation and sometimes a little bit harder, but just really, I think it's important to remember that, you know, you are the CEO of your company and you hire um, us, or at least that's how I look at it, to work for you. So what do some of these producers, what do some of these directors look for, especially for the aspiring actors or just people who, as you were saying, behind the scenes want to be a part of movie making? I think passion. I think the number one thing is you have to have passion, you know, and you have to really um, not just have passion for, for the industry, but you also have, a, have to have an understanding of it, you know, so you have to be well educated, whether it's taking classes, you know, whether you're in school for it or community colleges or classes on the side or night classes, finding some way to educate yourself about the business and then having a passion, you know, for it and being very proactive in your career because no one is just going to give you an opportunity to do, you know, to do whatever. You have to say, I'm going to make it happen myself. The ball is always in your court, you know, mm -hmm. at all times. People sometimes they do not make it this business because they are chasing after success. And success is a good thing and it's something that we should strive for. But I think more, more important than success is progress. I think that's far more important. I'd rather have you, each of you be progressive than successful. Because successful, um, 
is not it's something that we can all argue. Like I, I may say success is, you know, having a million dollars in my pocket. But Oprah may say, uh uh-uh, uh, a million dollars is enough for me, you know, or Jay Z he may say, uh uh-uh, uh, I need, you know, ten million. <coughs> so every in everyone's success is different. But progress, everyone has to agree, progress. If I stand here and I walk here, that is progress. No one can disagree with that because I move forward. And I guess you, you get used to some no's, but don't let them just Yes, you have to. I mean, you have to get used to the no's. You're going to get 100 million rejection letters when I was submitting my scripts to different studios and stuff. You know, no, 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 no. But all you need is one yes. You know, all you need is one. So what you guys decide are the problems in this world or what needs to change is what's going to change. If you think that nothing needs to change, then the world won't get better. Because if you don't do it, who else is going to do it? You can't rely on me because soon I'm going to be dead and you're going to still be here. So <laughs> you have to rely on you guys, the you. You guys are very, very important. What you do today is going to impact our world in the future. So it's important for you to realize just how significant your voice is right now to make a change and to decide what it is you want to change when you become an adult. So I think a lot of times people fail because when they're trying to build a foundation, they forget that it, it takes a whole team. I mean, probably 50 people plus help to build this theater plus, right? And then to maintain it, think about people that have to employ here. And then to utilize it, people are coming here that pay to use the space. So overall, for this theater to be successful, it takes a lot of work, a strong foundation. So you have to make sure you have a strong foundation. Piece of advice is just, you know, the only way you will not break into Hollywood is if you quit. If you believe that it is a God-given talent, you know, and you were put on this earth to do it, then you must go after it and you must complete that goal until you achieve it.